Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. How is everyone doing tonight? We have, uh, we have been gone for a while. It's been over two weeks now since I've live streamed. So I am excited to be back at it and uh, getting things moving today. How is everyone? I'm getting my chat set up here. I have to say it's been crazy. Um, between, uh, me traveling, my wife has been out of town. She's actually been out of the country for 10 days. So it's been me and the kids, uh, getting by, I'll say. And, uh, we've been sick. Uh, all the boys got sick in the house at the same time. So it was, uh, an interesting, uh, week for sure. But we're back at it now here. Finally, You'll have to apologize. I'll, I'll have to apologize. My voice is just a little bit out of it still, but we're getting there really quick, like. And so we've got to uh, we got to do some farming tonight. We uh, we've been away from Autumn Oaks for a long time now. Oh, and we've got some merchandise that we're testing out here. So actually, before we uh, jump into the game here, I'll show that off. Um, let's break with the green screen for just a minute. So the hat kind of sort of works. Um, I'll turn the chroma filter off here so you guys can see my wonderful green screen. Um, I got this really awesome, let me hold it up to the camera here, um, embroidered hat here. Uh, and I was really wanting to do hats. And, uh, it came through. Oh, you guys are not able to hear me. Or you guys should be able to hear me. I've got my mic going through. Somebody said can't hear you. Good to see you, Road Warrior. Appreciate you. Anyway, I wanted to get some hats. I'm a hat guy, and uh, I figured the channel's been going long enough that uh, we should get a few things, some merchandise, and uh, we got the uh, we got the hat going here. Oh man. Pep is uh, hitting me up on chat. He says that my hat shows up backwards on stream. This is one of those things that I've always been curious about. I should rewatch my streams more often. Let me try this. I think I can do this. Boom. Oh, look at that. Now I show up the right way for you guys. So uh, I, I'm, I'm a hat guy, I was saying. And uh, getting something that's embroidered, it's not a sticker. It's not going to flake off if you wash it. Um, was super exciting. So we're going to be going with that. And then uh, I turned the green screen off as well. We've got t-shirts, kind of hard to see. Um, and so we're going to do some of that kind of stuff. I don't know. I'm not looking to make a bunch of money on merch. I just thought it'd be fun to get a few things. We've been, uh, I've been running the channel for a while and I'm the kind of guy that, uh, likes to have a few cool things to remember different, uh, phases in life. So, uh, I'll be launching that here sometime this week. These are uh, samples. I wanted to get some versions of it to make sure it looked good. So that uh, that's what we did. And uh, it's funny, you know, I would have never thought about doing merch. Like I wanted to do a hat just for myself. I have had dozens of people ask me uh, to do that for the channel. So we're going to be getting these things out here soon. And uh if you guys are interested, um, I'll I'll definitely announce when that goes up, but it should be in the next week or so. Um, so we'll see. If people are interested, they'll be there for them. Um, so while I was doing all of that, I'm missing uh, literally probably a hundred chat messages. It looks like my uh, I've got a big long monitor on my right hand side here, and uh, it's streaming through. So, RZ Gaming, welcome to the chat, man. We've got uh, we got a whole bunch of the staff team in here, it looks like. Favor Farming, it's always good to see you, Julian. Uh, Alan, good to see you. Cody, good to see you guys. We've got Brian in here, always good to see you. Man, there's just so many people going through the chat here, it's just scrolling by. Adam, good to see you again, sir. So, oh, Stranded, you want merch as well, nice. So we're going to have a couple of uh, mic mutes here as I uh, still have a little tickle in the throat, but we're doing good. We're doing good. And so we're going to uh, get everything set up here real quick on the camera. Um, I've got one more thing that's all messed up. There we go. And we should be good to go now. 
And uh, yeah, Justin, we're drinking lots of water today too. But uh, I'm finally feeling good. It's going to be good. And uh, yeah, so Autumn Oaks. Do we even remember what's going on in this game? Because uh, it's been two and a half weeks, maybe almost three. So we've got to we've got to get in here and get some work done for sure. I'm still waiting to see these cow mechanics. So we're going to be getting into that. Godly devil, welcome to the stream, man. It is good to see you. It's good to be back. Uh, I am super excited to be here. Jace Mountain Dew at 2 a.m. at night going strong. Yeah, uh, so I don't, I, I gave up drinking caffeine for a long time, and then I went on this road trip recently and uh, um, kind of got back on the caffeine kick. So I, uh, I've i been uh, dealing with that a little bit here, trying to taper myself back off. So, um, all right, let's take a quick look here. It's uh, looking like we've got a lot of stuff to do out in this field still. We finished all of our harvesting, if I recall. Let's take a quick look at the map. Uh, yeah, so we're on to uh, fall field work. So we got to bale up all of this cornstalk straw. And then uh, we'll uh, get out here and do, I think we got to do a little tillage. And then we can start moving the clock forward a bit, so... We've got something down here on the edge of the field, uh, our truck. So let's run this back up to the farm and we'll get going here. Yeah, Al Adam, we gotta make sure that the cows are fed. We've gotta actually bring them in out of the field here. Um, we've got them all out in the pasture right now. And so it's starting to get a little chilly. So we're gonna wanna bring them up into um, some of these other barns, I think. So that's gonna have to be uh, uh, another mission here very soon. <clears throat> Farm Sim Jim, good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream. Cody, the cows go through a lot more feed than you think on this map. That's my concern, so we really went overboard with uh, how much we saved. We didn't really do anything for cash crops, hardly. Um, so I think we've got the silos just about if I'm not mistaken here, or the, the harvestor and the staves here. So I'm going to put this truck in here, I think. Bank Sinatra, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Jim, I have been using um, auto drive with course play for sure. Um, for me, the problem with auto drive is I don't use it for the more advanced courses, like backing into uh, locations and stuff is a bit harder to set up. So on my current playthroughs, it's not been as useful for me. Um, I'm going to bring this open. So if we look in here, if I remember correctly, we're completely full up on haylage with extra grass left over. So um, I think we're going to be good on feed. And if we bring up the menu here, all of our cows are still out at pasture, so we don't need to feed them yet. They've been eating grass here. And we don't have anybody. We've got some that are getting to that point two years until they're going to uh, give birth here, so we're getting close. <clears throat> Jace, you're all out of Mountain Dew. Time to make coffee. Nice. Oh, goodness. So we've got everything out of the fields here. Um, we're going to jump into a tractor to get uh, these corn stalks off. I think I want to use... I'm trying to remember where we parked it. Uh, not this one. I think we're going to use the... Do we have a 7810 in the shed here? I think this is going to be our bailing tractor for today. So we're going to take this over... Get it hooked up to the baler and uh, use this for our cornstalk bales. Now, the cornstalk bales are um, not a standard type of bale, so I'm hoping that they'll fit in this hayloft here. I think they will, uh, but we're going to find out. Uh, my standard reminder for everybody on this map, I am playing on an old version of this map. Dennis Farms has done an awesome job of putting out a whole bunch of updates. But I haven't uh, gone through and done all of those updates yet, so we're going to 
hope that things are working here for us as we keep trying new things. And uh, at some point here in winter when we've got uh, not a lot going on from a field state's perspective, we're going to switch over to the newer version of the map. So let's get this baler fired up here and lower the pickup and oh we've got to also remember how to turn on our trailer something like that and we should be good to go yep they're going right into the auto load trailer we're good to go so one of the things that i got to do on my recent trip while i was off is uh, visit a custom bailing operation uh, up in uh, mid-central Minnesota. And so it was really interesting talking to him about, uh, you know, doing a lot of bailing for different people and uh, the kinds of things that he runs into um, doing that. And so they do actually do a bit of uh, cornstalk bailing in uh, Minnesota there, which is something that I hadn't seen before. And so it was interesting to see. Um, they do all round balers mostly because they're cheaper, uh, cheaper to... Uh, own and operate and so he had like four or five big uh, round balers which was really cool to see so I'm really looking forward to uh, getting some of the real life farming videos out here in the next uh, week or so I just haven't had a chance to edit those this week Jim the other night you were trying to figure out how to use auto drive instead of creating a course play course when you were picking up bales um, I'll be honest, I don't remember. I, uh, I know we had auto drive set up here for something, but, uh, um, we were using the course play bale pickup on, uh, Lincoln Creek here, but I don't remember what I was doing. I know we were messing around with it in the live stream. We were trying to, uh, we were trying to set things up so that we could haul the corn with auto drive. James, where did I find this bale trailer? I believe this bale trailer was on the mod network. Um, I'm also noticing that while the bales say corn stalks, um, they're kind of coming out looking green right now, so that's probably a texturing issue, I hope. Um, I guess we'll see when we get this first load done and we put it into the, uh, into the shed here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. We're going to try really hard not to cough all over everybody today. Let's uh, get spun around here real quick. Not quite where I want to go. I don't want to be right up on the fence, so we'll have to take that outside line down going the other way, I think. Um... Whoops, that came flying out. And I'm kind of slowing our speed down. This baler will go way faster than uh, I actually want to bail here. So we're going to slow ourselves down just a little bit. Uh, Brian, does anybody know if the barn will accept standard bales? Yeah, it should. Hey, Robin, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Trio Gaming, good to see you. Yeah, Adam, the stream just started, Matthew. The So I usually go for a couple hours. From like 9 to 11 is my typical uh, stream run. We'll see how it goes because uh, my voice is maybe going to give out a bit early tonight. We'll see. We'll see. We're feeling good, but uh, as soon as I started talking, I started coughing, so I haven't coughed all day. And now it's all, all of a sudden a tickle in the throat, but we'll see how it goes. I'm really nervous about these bales, though. Those are some uh, really green-looking corn stalks. <laughs> Alan, exactly. The stream depends on water level, so... Uh, we've had some crazy storms here in the uh, Michigan area lately. Um, I was uh, just talking to the staff team before the stream. We had a tornado on, oh, what would that have been? 
Sunday night uh, that touched down like less than five miles away from the house. And so that was the first time that we had to actually go to the basement with the uh, little one that he remembers at least. And uh, they're not real common in our immediate area, but this is the second time this year we've had tornadoes around us. And uh, he got really freaked out. It was uh, it was kind of funny, you know, you, you like to not laugh, you know, because it's a serious thing, right? I mean, there's an actual tornado within, you know, five miles of your house, but we were in the basement and he's just crying and, you know, he's coming to the realization like, what if the tornado, you know, takes, destroys our house and I don't have any more toys? What will I do? It was hilarious. So it was, uh, it was a, it was a, it was a good learning experience for him, you know, to s go through it and see that it's, you know, it doesn't need to be scary. We went in the basement with everybody and hung out. So fun times. Logan, you saw a Crone Big Square Baler for 110k at the dealer. Yeah, it was funny. I was looking at the prices on those in game uh, because I just bought one on the Lincoln Creek series, and uh, they're well over a hundred thousand. So I know why a lot of people do the round balers. They're a lot cheaper. They're easier to maintain and work on yourself, I guess. Um, and so that's you know why a lot of farmers do the round bales rather than the big squares is not because they don't want to do big squares it's that big squares are really expensive so we're going to not keep doing this we're going to do one more bad turn here and see if we can get hooked uh, get the rest of this headland off so i quit driving over it and then we'll uh start working on up and down rows Yeah, Logan, we had a, this was like an EF0 or something. It was like not even a, uh, uh, it was like the lowest possible level tornado that you can have. It was, you know, barely even a tornado. But uh, um, it was funny. I was at soccer practice and got to see some, one of the dads had pictures of it. So um, confirmed actual tornado. John Deere for life. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, the hat's uh, the hat's cool. We've been testing it out. I've been wearing it for a couple of days. I'm uh, uh, secretly hoping at some point somebody will walk up to me uh, and uh, ask about the hat in real life and uh, actually recognize the channel. But I don't think anybody around me uh, um, actually watches Farm Sim. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, Justin, you guys just had four inches of rain. It's been raining like crazy here. We had uh, we had some rain as well. We were at soccer practice. Like, the whole field was, like, underwater, soggy, muddy. I was surprised they even let the kids out on the field. But uh, it was it was fun. Livin', welcome to the stream. Good to see you, man. A long time no see for sure. Jim a lot watch not many admit it yeah yeah it was funny I was talking to people um, again at soccer practice it's like my the highlight of my social life at this point is going to kid functions uh, but it's it's uh, everybody's like talking about what they do for a living and it's just kind of like oh yeah I play uh, video games on YouTube uh, <clears throat> it's uh, it, it feels a little weird still to say so All right, we've got one more headland up here to take off, and we'll have uh, we'll have these headlands done, and we can start uh, doing the up and down rows. This is going a lot quicker than I thought it would. This uh, and we've slowed down a bit. I could probably speed it up to about nine. It was uh, interesting. I got to ride along uh, with a guy while he was he mowed a field of uh, kind of an alfalfa clover mix and then proceeded to rake it and bale it all in the same day. Uh, and uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, but uh, you're definitely not going 12 miles an hour when you're doing it. So that was uh, the interesting part of it. Although we got clipping, we were going probably six or seven miles an hour with the round baler uh, while we were picking stuff up. So... It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. 
Brady, where did I get this baler from? So this baler was an edit that TJ Customs FS19 Edits, I believe is his Facebook page name. Um, but TJ released this edit on Facebook at one point, and uh, that's where I got it. Jace, do I have an Xbox? I do. I have an Xbox and a uh, PlayStation 4. Yeah, Port Huron got hit hard. Yeah, they, we've been having crazy storms down here. And it was funny because I went out west and, like, I made it all the way out to South Dakota um, on my little trek across the Midwest. And, man, could they use some rain out west. It was dry, and uh, I just felt bad for people because I'm here. You know, we've had one of the wetter years in a long time. Um, I know a lot of farmers in the area that are talking about, you know, having the best, uh, best yields of, you know, their lives because we've had so much rain this year. In fact, they're worried about not being able to get out in the fields and get the crops off because it won't stop raining here. So... Um, you know, we've we've had too much rain almost. In fact, I know people that have had crops get flooded out. So it's always uh, good to find the balance. Oh, man, Logan, we had a, uh, a farm all bee that I used to mow with uh, when I was on the farm. I love that, that uh, the, the, with the narrow front. Um, it was a fun little tractor. Lindsay loved the vids. Appreciate it. Oh, goodness. So we've uh, we've been gone for a few weeks, and it seems like a lot, you know, FS22 is getting closer and closer. I'm getting excited for it. And so I'm trying to think. We've got a lot of things that I want to get done uh, in Farm Sim 19 before we get to the end here and start thinking about switching over to FS22. And so I'm uh, I'm getting ready. We're going to launch a new series, I think, next week to go alongside the maps that we're running right now. Um, we might try and do a few things that are a little bit different, a little bit shorter one-off type series. So... We'll see how it goes. I want to get back to the members' live streams as well, get some multiplayer action going. And so next week we'll be trying to get back to that as well. Uh, and I think that one of the series I'm going to run will be um, done in such a way that it'll be open to, uh, open to the members to come play with me when they want. So we'll see how I can figure out what we're going to do there. But I've got some cool ideas for the next, uh, what do we got? A month and a half now until FS22 comes out? Oh, uh, it's gonna be fun. So we've got, uh, what, a couple more bales that'll go on here? I think it's like one more bale that we're gonna fit. I think that's the limit. This next one's gonna just bounce off, right? Yeah, all right. We're at the limit. Oh my goodness, I'm talking to myself because I muted, I needed to cough. Appreciate it, guys. Harley Quinn, welcome to the stream. I, uh, I'm talking about the baler here. I was hoping that there was a road mode for the baler, but, uh, I couldn't find one. But I can move the chute, which I thought was really cool. So depending on, uh, what kind of a trailer you got that you're shooting these bales into, that's a really handy feature. So, as usual, we're going to dump these bales out, and uh, we're going to have to load some of them up manually, I think. So, let's see here. 
Um, oh, that's right. I can't unload this trailer with uh, the baler connected to it. This is the uh, the only problem with this setup that I have is that uh, some things don't quite work out for us. So we'll uh, grab this other tractor here. Now that we're done with harvest, we don't need the uh, we don't need the auger. I guess next time I won't bother running it all the way up here with the baler tractor. So we've got 161 bales here. We're in the unload position. I should have been a little bit closer and all of those would have gone in. We're just outside of the uh, trigger with the backside of that trailer oh my goodness we're making a mess all right well we've had trouble with this trigger I know this is one of the things Dennis Farms said that he fixed um, one of these days we're gonna get the new version out but we can just load a few bales by hand it's not the end of the world they're nice and light my guy is uh having some issues though. Why can't I, uh, I can't jump. How weird is that? I can't jump or crouch. What have I done? Something is, uh, definitely not happy here. Yeah, my control key doesn't work or something. F1 works. Weirdness, it's always something, I apologize. I am using the keyboard. Wow. Wow. I have no idea what happened there. Why are all these bales despawning themselves into hay or straw? We're gonna just have to drive over all these and get out of the way. Something, uh, something went haywire with my game. I can't, uh, maybe it's this auto load. That's what it is, I bet. Um, can I, I can't crouch or jump now. I've uh, messed up my game somehow. The controls, and it won't uh, pick anything up. I'm uh, very, very confused right now. Old bale trailer. Like, the bale trailer isn't in uh, auto-load mode anymore. I don't know what's going on. Something's, uh, it's haywire. Living always with the, uh, with the uh, one-liners. I love it. I can run, but I can't jump, and I can't pick things up. I shouldn't need super strength to pick these up. I was just picking them up without it. Yeah, something is, uh gone haywire alt tabbing and play and tab back in nope controls are gone I don't have flight mode on I don't really want super strength on well there you go no idea and the, I've got a controller here as well which doesn't uh, seem to do anything either like I can't jump how I normally would be able to, so it's definitely farm sim. Wouldn't be a live stream without uh, some craziness. We're going to uh, ignore it though for the time being and just get back to uh, getting some more hay or straw, I should say. It's corn straw, corn stalk straw that we're picking up here. So we're gonna, my goodness, try and back this thing up appropriately. Adam, we're not in a multiplayer game, so I shouldn't, I can't actually leave the farm in a single player game. I would have to just exit the game, I think. 
Jace, could you ever play on Xbox? So I tried to get the Xbox working for my live streams. Didn't get it working. I put a lot of time into it and had a bunch of issues. And so the plan is when uh, FS22 comes out, they're going to have crossplay. And we're going to run a multiplayer server that's crossplay capable so that I can play with the, uh, the console uh, players. So we will definitely be running a multiplayer live stream for consoles when uh, FS22 launches. All right, we are back. We're done. Uh, we're done goofing off there with uh, whatever was going on. We don't even know. So we're gonna get going here again. Get all of our implements set up the right way, and off we go. My goodness, one problem after another. I guess that was the last straw. <laughs> <laughs> living with the great one-liners. I love it. Can't drive straight. Cracking me up. Adam, you'd save. That's probably a great idea. Anytime we have problems, it's a good idea to save. Weird things like you can't, uh, you can't jump up and down in the game anymore usually means something bad's gonna happen here soon. If we look here, yeah, we've got some kind of a Lua stack, um... Community extension usually isn't what's causing the issue. It's usually just what manages to surface it. So we're going to have to look into that a little bit more at some point here. I'll look at the logs after the stream. I'm guessing it's the combination of this baler and this trailer, though. <clears throat> so... I could probably find a more stable baler and trailer, or I could just fix the bugs. But uh, A, I haven't had time, and B, I just really like how this one looks and works. It's a really cool setup. JDG, how is Grant Hilbert's farm? Grant's farm is cool. I mean, it's just a shed out in the middle of a cornfield. Um, but it was really great getting to meet him, actually. I spent almost six hours with him. Uh, we went and picked up his corn header while I was there, so that was a lot of fun, just getting to hang out with him and talk to him for a day. Um, pretty cool guy. Has, uh, has a lot going on. Um, you know, getting to hear his story and talk to him about, uh, going from doing YouTube to, you know, investing a bunch of that money and, you know, turning that into uh, essentially running his own farm now is uh, a cool story. Getting to see all of his equipment and uh, talk a little bit about kind of his plans for growing his farm, you know, over the next few years and, you know, where he's at from an equipment perspective right now and, you know, where he's what he's planning to purchase and what he's planning to contract out and stuff like that. So um, really cool guy, really cool farm. So hopefully I'll get the videos all put together for the farms that I visited over the next week or so. I was hoping to get those out this week, but with being sick and with uh, being on the, my own with the kids all week, it just didn't happen. Godly, considering the Baylor trailer is converting from corn stock to hay, yeah, there's definitely some problems going on here. That wouldn't surprise me if uh, that's contributing here. Although, I'm not sure if they're actually hay or if they're corn stalks. I guess I should have looked when we were looking at them on the ground there. So, we're gonna... We'll have to remember to do that when we run back up there next time here. Um, I really want to get the tillage going out here on this field as well. This is pretty much, I think, the only field we need to do tillage on um, with the corn stalks and the way seasons work. So we've got uh, the big disc there that I think we're going to run out here in this field as soon as we get this uh, all bailed up. I'm not being overly picky about getting every last scrap of this since it's... Uh, pretty much only going to be used for the bedding, I think, with the way things are set up. Godly, when they, I was loading them, they said, hey, 
Well, there you go. We've got a magical baler. I'm turning everything into hay here. I think we did get some straw off of, uh, was it the oat field that we had? So we'll have a little bit, but, uh... I was hoping it was just a texturing issue and not that we were actually converting these into hay. But, uh, I don't know. I guess at this point we put all the work in, I'm gonna take the hay. It's, uh, not like it's worth that much more than the corn stalks to us at this point. We've got hay coming out of our ears, but, um, honestly I hate mowing and baling for the most part, so... We've done half the job here already, we might as well finish it. I am uh, really looking forward, though, to moving the clock forward on this series and seeing how the animals are going to work out here. We've got a number of these uh, cows that are about ready to start producing milk, so I can't wait. Adam, what brand tractor is my favorite? I am a John Deere guy for the most part, so we uh we like the green. But uh yeah, so I visited I'm trying to remember now how many farms I visited while I was on my little trek. Um, I stopped at a farm that did 300 acres of blueberries and about 1,500 acres of corn and beans in uh, on the west side of Michigan. And then uh, later in that day, I stopped at a farm in northern Illinois that had two centennial farms in the family. So that was really fun to go see. And then I stopped out and visited a dairy farm in... Uh, Western Wisconsin, I believe. And then we went and, uh, where did I go from there? From Western Wisconsin, I actually went down into Iowa and I got to go to the uh, John Deere Museum. I'd never been to the John Deere Museum and uh, that was kind of fun to go see. And then I went out and visited a farm in uh, South Dakota. And then from there, I went all the way up to uh, mid-central Minnesota, up near St. Cloud, and visited a farm. And then I came all the way back down into Iowa, and uh, that's where I visited Grant's farm on uh, Friday and spent the day there. So lots and lots of, uh, lots of farms. So it was a good time. Oh, we're getting off our track. Brady, is this map on Mod Network? It used to be on Mod Network. At this point, um, Dennis Farms is putting a lot of work into his own website. And so I would strongly recommend checking out his website uh, if you're looking for the most up-to-date versions of his maps. Um, I don't know if I've got the link to it in the description of this video, but uh, it should be... Um, also on his uh, Facebook page. So if you just look up uh, Dennis Farms, D-I-N-I-Z, on Facebook, you should find him. And uh, the links to his website will be on his Facebook page. Adam, why am I not using GPS? Good question. Mostly because we're just putzing along. And some of the rows, like this part here, where it kind of angles out, because I probably wasn't using GPS when I did all of the uh, harvesting either. Lone Hail, good to see you, man. I had a great time on the trip. Not so great of a time the week after being sick, but uh, I'm getting better. My, I uh, Actually, tomorrow I get to go pick my wife up uh, from the airport, so... That'll be uh, the best part of the week, for sure. Ty, welcome to the stream. It's good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. Is that one foot GPS width? Works great. I wouldn't even care what the width is, because I just need to uh, realign when I flip around. Let's try it. All right. People are uh, 
not happy with seeing me be all uh, crooked here on the uh, on the drive. Wee. All right, let's see if we can do this. So GPS line. Do 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 do. Straight. What is my width? GPS menu show lines. Um, can I offset? Uh, I don't really want to offset. You know what? I don't care. We're not. We're gonna turn the lines off. We don't care. I've got a. I've got a magic button that'll just let me auto align to wherever I'm pointing. <laughs> Ty, little stress planning for college. Yeah, my uh, oldest is uh, 16, and so next year's his senior year. I'm trying to think here, because he's gonna be 17 here shortly. Yeah, next year I think is his senior year, and so he's getting to that point. We we're getting all the college brochures in the mail, and he's trying to figure out where he's going and all that good stuff. And a uh, little stressful, that's for sure. Nagi on his webpage. It looks like he's going to link all the modders on there. Yeah, he said anybody that's contributing to the North American style modding scene, um, his plan is to get them linked on there. So that'll be cool to see, you know, everybody kind of all linked up. All right, let me see here. Uh, GPS align, GPS drive straight. Good deal. Godly wasting product. Yeah, exactly. But uh, like I said, the lines aren't exactly straight. They kind of uh, mishmash a little bit, and the pickup on this thing is uh, fairly narrow. So anytime a little bit moves left or right of that, it's uh, not really going to work out too well for me. So I think we've got it pretty centered now. Oh, and we're throwing bales out the back already. All right back over here we're not gonna deal with this right now i'm gonna park this trailer and grab a different one i think i've got a second trailer sitting right here there we go going for welding that's a good one like there's um i was talking to somebody here in the area and they were actually talking about how in-demand welders are right now and that they just can't get enough people to go to um, schools to uh, learn you know basic trade skills anymore so I know and plumbing is another one in our area at least that's been like you know in high high demand um, we wanted to get a plumber in to do something basic and it was gonna be quite the wait if I remember correctly um, all right, we're going to start here and clean up this little bit that we missed. I've got to get my auto loader and everything set back up. There we go. Let's, uh, let's see here. So align auto steer. There we go. Adam, should I stay subscribed? Haven't watched much. Pretty new. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the Kedrick Farms uh, channel, Adam. We uh, we've been gone for a couple of weeks, but we're back now. We're gonna be putting out regular content, so that'll be exciting. Let's see if I can pick this bale up with the trailer. Good deal. Whoops, we're oversteering a bit here. We'll run down to the other end here and get turned around. Um, held the wrong button down. <clears throat> Ozzy Odd, retired master plumber. Yeah, my dad is currently a uh, master electrician, and uh, kind of was the same story. He, uh, When he got out of the army, there was just a lot of people looking for... Uh, looking for people with trade skill experience and so the army paid him to go to college and he became an electrician and did really well for himself as an electrician all right 
right. I'm falling uh, falling up behind on stuff. Alan, you, young kids aren't interested in hard labor or trade skill jobs anymore. I know, but they pay a lot. Well, they pay good. They pay a lot better than they used to. So, um, you know, it's uh, it's interesting to see how much uh, how much people are making. I was talking to somebody. I mean, we've had so many storms in the area lately, and uh, um, DTE is our our power company, and they just can't find enough people to to work. They're pulling in people from other states to help out and. Um, those guys are making a lot of money. I was really surprised. Fallen Oak. I was able to do a bunch of farm visits. I've got a whole bunch of unedited video. I'm hoping, hoping to start getting those out um, either this weekend or, or next week at the latest. Um, I just, I had some hardware problems, unfortunately. So I uh, was really worried that I was going to lose like half of my footage for a little bit. Um, but I managed to recover the uh, data that I thought was lost, and so now I just need to get it edited. Jim, the uh, Baylor setup reminds you of the farm near you growing up. Trailer was auto-loaded by the neighborhood kids. That was me. Um, that's why I'm running this Baylor setup, is uh, we used to have one kind of like it, uh, or I worked on a farm that had one very similar to this. And I would have been standing on the back of that trailer, throwing them up onto the pile there. So very, uh, very much reminiscent of my childhood uh, with the uh, bailing here. Brady, your grandpa fixes fridges, ovens, lights, etc. Yeah, my uh, my grandfather actually w did that for a while as well. Jared, you just finished high school and went right into welding, making pretty good money. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's, um, it's, it's a job that is gonna be in demand, you know, for, for some time, for sure. Road Warrior, appreciate you coming into the stream, sir. Have a good one. And thank you again for your donation earlier in the stream. It's always appreciated. So we're almost done here with this field. If uh, it wasn't laid out the way it was, I probably would start the tillage out on a worker, but uh, I'd have to take the, a headland pass off to keep him out of the road and the telephone poles, I think. And I don't think we've got enough room up here to really do a headland pass, so we'll just keep going on this and then we'll start the uh, tillage off after while we go clean up the bales. Richie, what farm did I start on on Lincoln Creek? I built my own farm. Um, if you look at the playlist for that series, there should be a live stream. We built the farm on a live stream before I started the series. Oh, we oversteered right into the pile, my goodness. Alright, straighten this thing out. GPS, go. There we go. We could actually uh, do what I do in the videos. We'll set our field of view in a little bit so that we can uh, actually see our equipment for a change. Farm Sim Jim, two year vocational school in high school to learn a trade doesn't mean you have to go right into work doing that, but you always have the trade to fall back on. Yeah, exactly. Let me, uh, I'm going to actually move, I'm going to try something new, folks. We're going to move chat a little bit so that I'm not looking off the side of the screen when I'm trying to read this. We'll see how it does. I'm going to zoom in on this window here. Oh my goodness, it made everything bigger. Can I, we might run off of uh, the screen here. Give me one second. All right, we're going to do... This, hopefully we're not driving off of anything. Boom. All right, just in time to turn around. It's uh, always interesting uh, when you're 
live streaming um, and spending so much time on the computer in general trying to find the right spot to put all your windows and your monitors and different things so that you can see what you're doing. Fallen Oak Farm, harvest is crazy. You've been working 16 hours a day. Only reason you're home right now is you got rained out. Crazy. I uh, remember those days, but uh, that's some hard work. Adam, if you work for Kaser John Deere, you make some big money. Um, I have heard that the uh, that uh, they pay a lot of their workers um, fairly well. I guess it depends. I think a lot of the dealerships are privately owned, though, aren't they? So if you're working at a dealership, you might not necessarily be associated directly with uh, with those companies. Uh, all right, we're almost done with this field. Let's see. I'm going to skip over to this one so that when we turn around, we can come right back up. Align and drive straight buttons for the win. Aaron, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Yeah, Jace, it's funny. Is uh, Back before I was the one streaming... I would almost always be uh, watching streams while I was playing, especially Farm Sim. Farm Sim's a great game to uh, play while you're watching TV or a movie or a stream or something. Jacob, keep up the good videos. Appreciate it, sir. We are getting back into it and uh, um, definitely missed getting content out there for a couple of, uh, couple of weeks. Toby, good to see you. Welcome to the stream, man. I am uh, feeling mostly human. I I apologized earlier in the stream. I'm gonna get a, I'm getting a little froggy here already. We're we're almost an hour in, so we'll we'll see if I make it the full two hours tonight. But um, Halloween came early. I'm I'm back from the dead. It was a rough early part of the the week, uh, or last week especially the early first half of the week was miserable but we're feeling better now our driving has not improved though my pickup must be up let's see if I can back up a little bit there we go now I swear I fixed my field of view here a moment ago and then I either zoomed way out or uh, it's not fixed anymore I think I just zoomed way out there we go that looks right we're going to double check it, though. We're trying to get used to playing in a uh, narrower field of view because it makes the uh, tractor and everything look a little bit better. We uh, turned ourselves off the GPS here. Oh, my goodness. As a newbie, what's a good farm to start with? Uh, Gregory, what map are you talking about? There's a lot of great maps. If you're talking about this map, um, I like the main farm if you want to play with animals. Otherwise, there's a great uh, arable farm on a little bit different part of the map. Um, I'll bring the map up here in a second. We're going to jump all the way to the outside here, I think get started on the straight part here align and go straight uh, let's pop this up it's loading it's loading and so I like this it's this farm right over here I think it is uh, this farm so each, if you look at the buy sell part of the map each of these sections that you see are different farms, and I like this farm up here with fields one, two, and three. This is a good arable farm. Oh, we're losing bales. So let's uh, turn off the baler, and we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this bale trailer. Now we're gonna have to um, get a different tractor down here or the pickup and run these up to the farm. 
So let's just grab the tractor we got setting somewhere right out here. All right, I can't seem to click on it, so we'll jump into an auger and run up here. Are these working yet? No. And yeah, they are hay bales, so good eye, godly devil, on the uh, hay bales. Yeah, Toby, we realized uh, a little bit earlier in the stream, our straw bales are a little green, and it turns out they're actually getting turned into hay. So I think that's a function of the fact that I have an old version of this map. So we're uh, unfortunately just going to live with that here until we get into winter and I can uh, get this switched out finally. So we're almost there. We've got just a little bit of field work to do and then we can get that going. And apparently this trailer decided to no longer be auto loaded. So that's awesome. We're going to uh, fix that really quick. There we go. So we got a few uh, extra bales here, so we'll have to come back and fix that in a second. We're going to get going here. Did you have fun on my road trip to different farms? I did. It was a lot of fun. I can't wait to edit those videos. Um, I've looked at some of the footage, and I'm going to be honest. Uh, as my first time going out and doing like a real lifestyle vlog, I didn't do a great job. Um, some of the farms are better than others, and so we'll see what I can salvage. Um, I had a lot of fun though, and I learned a lot, absolutely. So we're going to be, um, having some fun with it for sure once we get around to editing. Um, unload, there we go. Oh, we got a bunch of bales under the ground again. I think I did that last time. I guess I can auto load these though while I'm here. Maybe we'll do that. Because I really don't want a bunch of bales stuck underground. There we go. I think there's one still there if I can looking at it right. Alright, so this time instead of, uh, oh my goodness, the camera. Instead of driving up on that ramp to unload, we're going to unload them a little bit further back so that I can uh, throw them out. So I'm going to turn the auto loader off. And then we're going to say unload. There we go. Look at that. We've actually figured out how to do this without uh, a ton of hassle. I'm digging it. Jace, you deleted your 16-week map. Uh, do you mean your save game? Because all save games get backed up. Your last, uh, like, I think it's five saved games on a given map, uh, or save game slot, I should say, are all uh, put into a backups folder in your uh, farm sim directory. So definitely recommend checking that out. Fallen Oak Farms, have a good night. I think I missed your message a couple minutes ago. I'm uh, going to take advantage of an early night. I can definitely appreciate that, sir. Have a good one. There we go. All right, we're going to drop this trailer, and I'm going to back right in here, hopefully being sneaky and not hitting anything. Oh, we messed it up. Let's try that again. And we're going to grab this trailer here. And away we go. Toby, I need to get at least one vid done of my real farming week. You had to watch Grant's channel in order to see I was out and about. Yeah. Well, he's so fast at it. He, uh, he edited that video like that night. I think I was out there on a Friday and he posted that video on Saturday. I wasn't even home yet. Um, I got home at 3 a.m. on Saturday, and then we had a uh, wedding to go to, and so I wasn't really home until Sunday, um, and he already had his video out by the time I got to see my own footage of being out there, so I call shenanigans on him. But uh, he was a really cool guy. I was a little nervous going out there. I wasn't sure, you know, um, because he, he didn't... I, it's funny, I asked him point blank when I was out there, 
Um, you know, just like I'd sent him an email and he replied like a day later. And I was like, so did you see my email and reply? Or was it because I uh, DM'd Clutch on Discord and said, hey, Clutch, could you put in a good word with, uh, with uh, Squad for me and get Grant to let me come out and visit him? And he just laughed. He said, no, nah, I didn't even see your email. Clutch uh, messaged me, and so I uh, messaged you back. So I have to give a huge kudos to uh, Clutch Simulations there for uh, hooking me up with the... Uh, with the uh, um, farm tour with Grant, because uh, otherwise it wouldn't have happened. So I need to drop by uh, Clutch's stream here uh, um, next time he's on and uh, wish him well and say thank you again. But uh, that's one of the things I love about uh, the Farm Sim YouTube community is that it's just a bunch of stand-up people. You know, I mean, Argzy was on here earlier. Um, you know, farm sim guy. There's a bunch of us that just kind of hang out and talk to each other and help each other out. You know, Clutch has always been a big supporter. DJ Goham has swung by. You know, we've been in each other's streams. It's just, uh, it's really cool having a group of people around that you can lean on and help out. And, you know, I wanted to go out and visit the squad. And so, you know, uh, Clutch helped make it happen. And that's just really cool. So. That's one of the things that I've enjoyed most about being part of the farm sim community here over the years. So it looks like auto load is on our bale trailer here. We're gonna jump back into this. See if I can get my GPS working again. Oops, we're going the wrong way. I'm gonna. Tr I'm trying to inch back closer here. <clears throat> Halen, welcome to the stream. Here on this is FS19. Clayton, this is a 7810 by Dennis Farms. Brady, did I hack some money in? Um, I actually I can't remember what level we started this farm on, but we started off with very, very little actual money. Um, I think I I did give myself the farmland to get started and some of the equipment, but uh, we started off uh, with zero actual money, so all of our operating expenses. So we started off like we had the farm and the equipment, but no money in the bank. So we're actually in the negative on this farm right now. I'm also realizing that because it's been a little while since I streamed, I forgot to set up the stream to be in low latency mode. So I'm probably reading chat messages that are a minute or two old. So if it seems like I'm uh, slow to respond, that's what's going on. We've, uh, we've been out of the seat too long. But I have to say, of all the farms I visited, um, there was one farm where I actually got to drive the combine, and that was probably my favorite part of the trip. Um, so I, the video that I'm going to have the most fun editing will be uh, the one where I got to uh, harvest corn. So we were uh, out in a cornfield picking corn, and I got to drive, and uh, um, the farmer I was hanging out with was kind enough to on his own grab the camera off of the seat and get it turned on and running and uh, he started taking my video while I was uh, in the driver's seat harvesting his corn so uh, very gracious uh, father-son set up there and uh, I had a lot of fun hanging out with them for a day godly appreciate the uh, feedback there about normal on the latency mode for me yeah good deal Perma's modding long time no see. I have been uh, missing in action for sure. I hope you're doing well, sir. You and I should probably sync up on a few things. I've been uh, I've been out of it for so long. Yeah, El Barado. Oh, Godly's got you hooked up. Uh, Farming Simulator 19 is the name of the game.
Clayton, this trailer holds... <clears throat> excuse me. This trailer holds 161 bales. They are the small square bales, though. Um, I think this is going to do it, though. We're not going to... I'm not going to get too picky about picking all this up, especially since we're already magically converting uh, corn stalks to hay. I feel a little bit guilty. Uh, I feel like I'm getting a bonus out of this, so we're going to we're going to go with it. Yeah, Permas, I feel you there. We had a uh, I got home at uh, 3 a.m. on a Saturday and then we had a 9 a.m. soccer game for the youngest. And then we uh, had a wedding that afternoon and then uh, I forget what we were doing Sunday, but then my wife left at 5 a.m. the next day. And so we have just been going nonstop uh, um, the previous weekends. And then she's been gone for 10 days. It's Life's just crazy. You get used to it. So we're going to take this empty trailer and park it back over here. And then I'm going to use this tractor to get... Uh, to get these bales up to the barn here. It's funny, all the baling we've done on this map, and uh, I've finally figured out how to unload bales on our very last field for the year. Ah, uh, well. Live and learn. I'll probably forget before we get to the, uh, before we get to the next uh, baling cycle here. Northern, no any good Wisconsin maps. Um, so there's a few Wisconsin maps. I would say my two favorite Wisconsin maps are Marksville, which is done by MRG, and then um, Westby, which was done, I believe, by Tired Iron Modding. Um, there's an edit out there that somebody did to fix a few of the things with it, but... Uh, I think those would be the two that I would recommend if you want a map that really has that Wisconsin feel to it. All right, let's see if I could not mess this up again this time. So I'm here. I turn auto loader off, unload on, bales go into the barn. It's magic. So we'll park this and then I'll come up here and try and figure out what to do with all that loose hay. Brian, appreciate you, man drinking more water Kieran good to see ya I'm glad to be back online Greg this is Autumn Oaks the edit by Dennis Farms Dennis Farms man I feel like I'm always mispronouncing his name I hope I'm getting it right especially with how many of his mods I use I should probably ping him on uh discord one of these days and ask for the phonetic uh let's see what are we doing we're going back up here we're gonna scoop up this hay and uh, get the yard cleaned up a little bit and then we've got to kind of get our tillage moving here bale of hay bale the hay on the ground do i have hay on the ground i don't think i've got any hay on the ground Oh, well, you were talking about this hay, maybe? We'll just uh, pick this up and toss it into one of the uh, feed areas, I think. I don't think there's that much. It should all fit into one bucket, so worst case, I can keep it in the bucket. It is indeed hay, so I can probably stick it in one of these. What's in the blue harvest store? I think this first blue harvestor is my corn. I don't really want to mix these. Um, you know what? I'm going to leave it in the bucket for right now. I'm not, I don't want to move everything. We're going to uh, leave it here. What happened to this hay? So my game is currently glitched out, and I can't use most of my out-of-vehicle uh, controls. I can't jump, and I can't pick up bales anymore. And I had spilled a bunch of bales on the ground here earlier in the stream, and I accidentally right-clicked on a bale. I didn't realize right-clicking on a bale would uh, 
you know, make it go from a bale to a loose material. So we've got loose material all over the ground as a result. So now we're going to go get our big tractor from the other shed and hop out here and start some tillage. If I can remember where I parked all of my equipment, I think it's in this shed back here, but I'm maybe mistaken. It must be already out by the machinery and I just forgot. Anybody got types of for sheep on FS19 for, or tips for sheep on FS19? You know, sheep is one of the two things I haven't done in the game from an achievements perspective. I need to do sheep and I need to do uh, chickens. And so the next series I do, we're gonna knock both of those out here before the end of FS19. Now, we took the duels off of this thing when we were hauling silage. So we're gonna run this thing back up here next to the shed or the workshop and we're gonna get the duels tossed back on here so and yes we're just role-playing a little bit here oh no all the other controls I can't use the workshop okay well now we've actually hit a point where we're gonna have to fix this we're gonna save the game it's been a while and we're gonna hop out of the game to the menu and come back in. We're going to see if we can fix these uh, controls up real quick here. And uh, while we do so, we're going to take a drink. I can already tell I'm going to be a little bit uh, hoarse tomorrow. Uh, ba -bam. Jace, I don't believe anyone has done different breeds for sheep. Aren't there different breeds for sheep in Seasons? I was pretty sure Seasons had uh, different types of sheep. I could be wrong. Kieran, sheep are great in FS19, in real life not so much. Yeah, I've uh, we had uh, somebody near us that did sheep, just like a handful, and uh, they always seem to be complaining about it a lot, so... Brian, run the videos without editing them, that would definitely not work. Um, it's funny is, I think almost all of the farms I visited, you know, there were points at which it was like, well, you know, I don't know if I want this or that, you know, uh, on a public video, you know, there's a, there's a lot with farming that's, uh, I don't want to say private or, pro you know, proprietary or whatever, but, you know, people want to, um, there's certain things people don't want out there for everybody in the world to see, so... We, uh, uh, I've committed to all of the farmers that I visited that I would, um, let them look at the edited versions before, um, they get released out to the internet. So we will definitely be doing that. All right. Everything seems to be working. We've got duels and gameplay. There we go. All set up. Kedder's going to be in need of some Velcro gloves soon. That's the other part. I didn't realize how hard, I mean, you know, Millennial Farmer jokes about it all the time, but walking around with a camera in one hand and trying to climb up onto a tractor or something, that's dangerous. Um, I definitely almost either dropped a camera or fell off of something multiple times uh, last week, so... Um, Harder than it looks, I'll say that. Yeah, Permas, I am way behind on those videos. Um, I've got half of that one edited, and now it's just like, I don't even remember what we were showing off anymore. So uh, you and I need to sync up, because I know you've got a couple of things that you've released or sent to me, and uh, uh, two other people have got stuff that they've sent to me as well, so... I've got to jam that all together here in a video soon. Justin, welcome to the stream, man. Logging off, no, I was uh, um, reloading the game. We had uh, issues, so we went into just chatting for a minute, and now we're back. Yeah, Farm Sim Jim, I actually bought a good, a decent camera, not a great camera, um, for the trip. 
and I was really happy with it. The audio was way better than a GoPro's audio, um, but the uh, stabilization on it was nowhere near as good as a GoPro, so I kind of wish I'd gotten the GoPro and bought an external mic for it. So, unfortunately, um, it is what it is, but uh, if I end up doing it again, we may, uh, we may look at adding some additional accessories. Oh, goodness. At least this uh, tillage tool is working well. We're making good speed here. Take off a uh, uh, couple of headland passes here, and we should be able to even let a worker help us out with this, hopefully. Try and avoid clipping into this fence here, though. Yeah, we didn't mean to set that down while we were getting turned around. I was all hoping to square things off. Justin, have I been watching many YouTubers as Harvest kicks off? Honestly, not as many as I'd like. Um, with how busy things have been, the only YouTubers that I've been following have been um, Millennial Farmer and uh, Grant Hilbert because, you know, I stopped out at his farm. I kind of feel a little bit more engaged on that since I've been there in real life. Um, but other than that, I've caught a handful of videos here and there. You know, I think I caught a couple of uh, Clark Farms' videos, some of Laura Farms. Um, but honestly, I'm just kind of behind on my real life farming, so. Yeah, to Toby, if you could disc at 12 miles an hour in real life, yeah, I feel like you'd probably be going, what, five or six, maybe, with an implement this size, depending on the ground. Sun Farms in South Dakota demoed a Samurai Tiller this past week, really cool. I do, I need to check out uh, this channel. I, I keep hearing about it. Lots of people are talking about it. So I definitely will be checking them out. Look at our Rhodes mics for the GoPro. Yeah, I've seen those, um, but you've got to get the external mic, like mount and everything else for that. And I was in a hurry and wanted like kind of an all-in-one package. And so um, they didn't have all the parts necessary where I wanted to uh, pick that up on a moment's notice. And the newest, the GoPro, was it the GoPro 10 that just came out? The Whatever the newest one is had just come out the day I went to pick up my other camera. And so I was like, well, I don't really know how I feel about buying a brand new uh, uh, model of something on its launch day. So we uh, we opted for the camera I'd done some research on, so. Huh. <clears throat> Shane, you're here on time. <laughs> you made it. That's what uh, that's what counts, right? Yeah, Justin, it's funny. It's the one YouTuber I'd say behind like so Larson Farms. I watch sometimes, but not a lot. Um, and uh, a lot of people that I talked to um, have mentioned that. And then Sun Farms keeps coming up over and over again. And I, it's just like I, I keep saying, all right, I need to go check that channel out. And uh, I keep not making it over there. So I've, uh, I'm, I'm bumping the priority up in my mind here. We're going to have to go check this channel out. Give me some ideas for future content. And I just like uh, family farms in general, and that was one of the things that, yeah, Randy's saying, you know, Cole and his dad are great on their channel, too. Oh, it's Sunny Farms? Interesting. I've uh, known people with a last name spelled like that, and it was Sun, like the, you didn't pronounce the N-E. So, that is uh, definitely interesting.
Toby usually disc at five or six. Now with most of the VT tillage seems to be around eight. Nice. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is uh, supposedly, you know, the VT, right? The 2660. But we're definitely going a little bit faster than eight here. Logan, good to see you. I've been good. I've been, I was sick last week, so we're still getting over it a little bit, but we're, uh, we're almost there. All right, let's see if we can uh, get some GPS out here to help us. Um, GPS menu. I think it's seven degrees that I can do with GPS or 11, something like that. Oh, GPS isn't on. All right, this first track is all messed up. Don't worry about it. We've got to go at a little bit steeper of an angle to match up with multi-terrain angle here in Farm Sim. I'd probably not go quite this steep in real life, but that's all right. Justin, big congrats on 20K. Yeah, that was fun. We actually hit 20K on one of the live streams a couple weeks ago. Um, I was really excited we got to do it live, so that was, uh, that was fun. It's a cool milestone to hit. And uh, we're not going to turn right back in on the sharp row. We're going to skip a row here. Oh, or not. Come on, GPS. Work with me here. We're changing our mind midstream. Just go with it. You don't want to change your mind. All right, all right, GPS. I got gotcha. you. We'll do it the hard way. There. Try it now. 10th generation Dairyman, I've heard. That one's good. Uh, like, I'll be honest, like, just personally, haven't been as into the dairy stuff uh, uh, myself. I'm, you know, way more interested in arable farming in general. But uh, I have heard that they're good. Cole and Daddy Cornstar went a little overboard with the new grain bin and combine in the same year. Now it's biting them, yeah. I haven't watched their last couple of videos, but um, I have to say I'm not the biggest fan of Cole, but uh, Daddy Cornstar cracks me up. I love his humor, so he's a lot of fun to watch. Um, same with Larson Farms. I love when the dad's on. He's uh, hilarious because he's kind of awkward and has that dry sense of humor with the camera, so it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Forward Egg, welcome to the stream, man. It's always good to see you. Hope you've been doing well. Yeah, Toby, this is what happens when I take two weeks off. I can't remember how to do anything. It's so bad. I'm like, which button does what? You know, I could. I, it took me uh, like five minutes to figure out how to turn the stream on. That we were almost late. So. It's uh, it's been an interesting day here. My my brain is full of all kinds of other things that have been going on in uh, real life here the last couple weeks. So we're getting back into it. Forward Ag, it's been good. We've been busy, but it's been uh, it's been good. We're gonna swing back up here and uh, continue on. Carter, I have uh, watched uh, Welker Farms quite a bit. I do uh, enjoy Welker Farms. Um, they, they farm very different than a lot of uh, farmers. And so it's always fun to see what they've got going on. I actually got more into Welker Farms when they were um, working on all their machinery. And, and uh, I think they were just building out um, their big sprayer. What was that thing called? The Big Brute. Um, that's when I came across their channel. They were building that thing from scratch. That was a lot of fun to watch uh, Watch those videos and see everything come together. So. Oh, goodness. You've got your KC 9500 in-game, setting up textures and XML work. Very nice. Looking forward to it. 
I saw you released uh, the other mod on the uh, Discord server here the other day. I haven't gotten a chance to download that yet either, but looking forward to checking that out. Duggo, there you go. See, my memory is uh, slipping me, but uh, we're going to start filling these in. The rain is here. We're going to get rained out of this tillage here in a few minutes, it seems like. Lisa, you live in Minnesota. That's where I'm from originally. Oh, man, we're kicking up rocks here in this field. I'm going to have to... Uh, check in on an update on that rock picker and get that on this series again so we can pick up all these rocks at some point. Toby, you watch the Welker's Yule for the big buds? Yeah, that was what got me into it at first as well. Um, you know, it's equipment that I'd never seen before, so it's always fun. Is that the older 8R or 8030 series? Um, this is the older style 8R. Um, this is the one by JHHG Modding, I believe, put out this older series uh, 8R. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Northern, am I gonna do a farm with big buds? You know, that's something I've never done. Um, It'd be interesting. It'd be fun to actually run the Welker's farm setup at some point. Uh, we are currently running a red series. And so I think my next single player series is actually going to be something really different. Um, but maybe when we finish Lincoln Creek, if there's still time before uh, FS22 comes out, uh, maybe I'll run a Welker's farm uh, series just for the fun of it. That would be cool. Have a good one for Dag. Appreciate you. Uh, swinging by Justin you saw Big Bud very similar to theirs in Central Michigan really I'd never seen a Big Bud in real life either let alone in Central Michigan that's a surprise I know there's not that many um, not that many uh, floating around But that's where it's cool is that, you know, that all the big buds are in the game, or most of them, right? So you've got your sprayer, you've got your big tractors, a couple different ones. So you could run with a mostly big bud setup and kind of do the, a lot of the stuff they do on their farm. You know, you just have to have some different combines and stuff, so. Uh, Bradley, why do you skip rows when you do tillage? So. Um, a couple of reasons. One is uh, because you're, it's easier with the narrow equipment to skip a few rows and so you don't have to turn as tight. And then also um, you do it so that if like you're doing tillage like I am now, at least on some of the older equipment, it would pull the plow a little bit sideways uh, because you're not cutting into the ground the same everywhere. You've got some loose dirt on the, or the different dirt texture on the one side and it would always cause the plow to kind of shift and jiggle a little bit. And so we would always skip rows so that you're always either cutting into fresh or you've got tilled dirt on both sides. But it was mostly about the turning. It was way too hard to turn a piece of tillage equipment back in onto the same row. Whoops, forgot to put the implement down. Oh my goodness, it's the squad. Good to see you, man. Appreciate you letting me swing by your uh, farm there, sir. And uh, yeah, we need an 8110. It's uh, funny, I was talking to a buddy of mine from Minnesota, and uh, um, I just got him watching your uh, Grant Hilbert channel there. And uh, he's like, man, the guy should have got an 8410. Then he could have done his tillage and his planting and his grain carts all with one tractor. So, uh, yep, we're, uh, we're getting some tillage done here. It's starting to rain, though. We're trying to beat the rain here. If the, uh, it keeps raining. All the ground texture just went wet. We should probably stop here. I wonder what the, uh, what the weather's going to look like in the next few days. We're going to get rained out for the rest of the day here. <clears throat>
perm is modding. There used to be a guy that had one close to here your brother rode with. Nice. Yeah, I've been out your way, Permas. I didn't realize we even had big, big buds in Michigan. That's crazy. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to get back out there and uh, check your farm out again if you get an 8410. That seems to be the uh, the staple tractor of that line. Very very popular. Toby, there's a lot of big bud models that are not in FS19. It's interesting. Um, I didn't realize how many different big buds there were. Like, you know, I, I know it was a, a uh, kind of a narrowly released tractor, but uh, there's a lot of variations of it. So that's kind of cool. Oh, we just hit that rock, too. We're definitely going to have to get out here with the rock picker here uh, before planting time, or we're going to have some serious damage on our uh, on our planter again. That was uh, rough, the rock we missed uh, earlier in this series, and uh, that did some massive damage. Do I plan to get a DB... Oh, you guys are talking to the squad. Nice. Get a DB60. Seems like it would be a bit overkill for uh, Grant's farm. I think he, you've got uh, somewhere around 200 acres, he was saying when we were out there. 12 row seems like a uh, good size farm. If it was Farm Sim Squad would say, I'm going to stick with small tractors, go buy a 9620. DB120 would be perfect. Get, uh, get, <laughs> you'd get some of your fields planted in one pass there, dude. <clears throat> Bradley, when I play on the Oklahoma map before I came across issues, uh, we've, we're running the Oklahoma map on one of our multiplayer servers, and uh, um, we've had a couple of small issues, but overall the map has worked pretty good, I think. Would be quick permas, exactly. Actually, it's funny, you know, depending on the situation, the bigger equipment is actually a little bit harder to uh, use uh, uh, in some fields. I know we had some uh, pretty big equipment, um, and, you know, you get into some of those, like, two- or three-acre fields, and you start trying to move around with a 24-row planter, and uh, it gets to be a little tricky getting into places. Now, all of these angles uh, were nice when we were going the other way, but coming into them on this side is a little bit steep. So we're going to, we got one, two passes here left after this, so we're going to try and knock these out. It's, uh, the rain is really picking up on us here, so we need to uh, hurry up and get this done. This is the last job we have before we need to move into uh getting through winter here so we're gonna be moving the clock forward we'll probably move the clock forward off camera uh, maybe we'll well maybe we'll do it next stream we'll we'll do a little bit of the clock because we gotta feed cows and uh, the cows are gonna start having uh, calves here any moment now it feels like so maybe we will do all of that on stream it'll be a little bit more of a casual stream next week for sure I'm super curious to see the calving mechanics here, though, that Dennis Farms has implemented. That's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, man, we're kicking up more rocks. Ah, oh, Toby, calling me out. I did forget the front weights again. Where was that when I was uh, messing around in the yard putting the duels back on for tillage? That's when I needed the reminder. We, uh... We, it's funny, we never took our front weights off on our bigger tractors, even though we were using them for a variety of different jobs and probably should have. It was a pain to take those weights on and off. But uh, I'm hearing the rock noises left and right here, but I'm not seeing us kick up any rocks. I wonder if we've got one stuck in the 
plow here somewhere. I don't see anything. Yeah, this Rocky Fields mod, though, this one I'm loving. This very much gives me that Midwestern feel. There's another one. I'm loving that we're kicking up rocks. I'm really curious to see what Giants is going to do with this in FS22 because I saw that they've got the, um, how do you pronounce it, Dagelman rock pickers now on the FS22 site. And so we, I've got to work with Permas here. We got to get him to get the one that he's been working on released before we get to FS22, because uh, we had it first in FS19. It'll be cool that it's going to be base game in 22, but uh, we've had one here for months now in FS19. Yeah, Northern, it's always that one rock. Look to see how much damage is on the plow. That's a good point because uh, the plow, so the tractor is actually in need of some maintenance. If you look down here on the corner, but the plow itself is pretty good. It's uh, not too bad here. Oh my goodness, it's legendary. Welcome to the stream, sir. So, uh, we'll be, uh, I'm gonna give legendary a big plug here. He was one of the farms I visited as well. Had an awesome farm. And, uh, uh, can't wait to edit some of the videos there. Um, got to hang out with, uh, him and his son. So he's, uh, starting to do some real life farming videos now. And uh, he has a really cool farm in uh, western Wisconsin there, and just the beautiful hills and views. Um, some crazy fields too that I would not want to uh, not want to drive a tractor on myself. It was uh, beautiful to look at. It seems like it'd be scary to uh, scary to farm on. So I can't wait to edit some of those videos and show you guys his farm. But uh, definitely check him out on YouTube. He's a, he's a cool guy and just getting started on YouTube here in the last few months. Stranded, welcome back to the stream, man. It's been going well. We're getting rained out, but we just wrapped up our tillage here, so I'm excited about that. We're uh, looking for the pressure washer. When you don't play a map for three weeks, it's uh, <laughs> trying to remember where everything's at. And uh, yeah, Toby, I'm super excited to see that we're getting some actual equipment, not just uh, tractors and uh, vehicles, but implements now as well. That's going to be awesome for sure. And uh, Clayton, this is the 2660 vertical tillage tool, I believe, from the in-game mod hub. So if you're looking for this uh, particular implement, it should be on the in-game mod hub. <laughs> Permas, the the Midwest is flat. It's the the um, I saw a great farm sim meme that was essentially uh, um, comparing uh, some of the comments that were made during the uh, Giants live stream to the uh, um, what is the the flat earther uh, thing. It was pretty funny. I uh, I need to find those and post them in Discord at some point. Pressure washer. <laughs> Gotta keep the equipment nice and shiny. Although I think the rain actually cleans equipment in Farm Sim, doesn't it? I can't recall. Jim, I do not have a mod list for this map. I did start one for the Lincoln Creek series, though. I've got most of the mods for Lincoln Creek in a mod list. Um, but this one... I'll be honest, if you're looking for something, it's 80% of my mods are from uh, Mod Network and their um, mods that Dennis Farms did. Otherwise, it's from one of the popular modders, JHHG modding or SID modding, uh, custom modding. But almost everything is from Mod Network. Tice, appreciate the sub there, man. All right, so we're getting rained on here. Uh, field work is done, though, it looks like. Running out here, I just want to remember we've got all of the bales off of our trailers. Man, I think we are all wrapped up here 
for the fall season. I mean, I think we're ready to move the clock forward here. Hey, Tim, good to see you, man. Um, it's funny, I'm just catching up. I've been uh, gone traveling for a week and then I was out, sick and out of it for a week and we're just getting back to things. And uh, I just saw today that I've been ignoring a DM from you for about two weeks, so I'll hit you up tomorrow, man. I'm going to go ahead. This tractor's actually... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just park this. We're going to park it. Ooh, we just took out the blinker. We're going to park all this equipment up here in this shed. we got all the doors open and everything. I forget. This door is like on the longest cooldown ever, so you got to click it and walk away. Oh, goodness. We are uh, starting to feel the effects here of talking for a while. Toby, no fall in hydrus application. So the plan on this farm is actually to spread uh, the manure from the cows out here. Uh, we're just short on manure because we haven't moved them up into the barns yet. And so I think think given that we're going to have them up in the barns through the winter we're going to attempt to get them uh, into we're going to attempt to spread the manure in the spring before we do a little bit of light tillage if we do spread manure kind of mix that in and plant after that so we'll see how it goes um we're just going to park all these right in here yeah, I think we're going to be pretty much wrapped up at this point. Good times. So with that, I think we are going to uh, call tonight's stream just a little bit earlier than usual. We're uh, still a little under the weather today. We're getting back to things, though. Um, I do already have tomorrow's video all lined up and ready to go out, so we're on track from that regard. And, uh, yeah, look forward to uh, getting a bunch more videos out here this week. Um, Lincoln Creek just finished up harvest as well. And, uh, yeah, we're done with the, the actual farming part of the year on uh, Autumn Oaks here. So next episode or next stream on the map, we're going to finally move the clock forward and have some calves born here. So I'm really looking forward to that. But uh, for today, I think we are going to wrap things up right now and uh, give my voice just a little bit of a break here today. Oh, my goodness. We've got Chevy Wallen in the stream. Good to see you, man. Glad I got to see you uh, last week while I was out and about as well. My, one of my VIP viewers here. And so we're... Uh, we're, we've had a lot of fun. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad everybody came out tonight to hang out with me. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the stream, if you're just coming in, we are going to launch some uh, merch for a limited run here um, next week. So stay tuned for that. I'll make an announcement on Facebook and uh, the YouTube community post thing uh, when the merch launches here. I don't know how long we're going to do it, but... Uh, if you're interested in hats or uh, t-shirts, we'll have those available uh, for at least a while. But uh, other than that, really appreciate everybody coming out. That's all for today. Ketter, out.